I'm a stalker. I love my life. 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 None of we don't know where tomorrow might bring God the future, the hours away. So me I live my life today. Me I live my life today. Yeah. So love me, make me talk when I want to talk. Me have nothing to say. So me I go live my life today. Me I live my life today. Me I live my life today. Yeah. So me I go live my life today. Me I go live my life today. Me I go live my life today. So everybody else to sing it out. Oh, oh. Me love my life. Oh, oh. Me love my life. Oh, oh. Me love my life. So me I live my Um, we're gonna do a little skipping of work today. We're having some coffee. We just cleaned up. We just had some uh, some banana pancakes, and we are gathering our fishing stuff, all the fishing stuff. And we're gonna go out with our friend Tyler and his uh, power boat that he uses for chartering. If you guys are in Culebra and need to go out and charter, let us know. We hook you up with my boy Tyler. He's an excellent fisherman. We're gonna maybe go and do a little casting now, some spinning. And then maybe we'll do a little bit of trolling. Maybe we bring the spear guns too and we're gonna do it all. And maybe jump in and do a little Does he have them? 
Cabrón, tenía el shot, pero el break was too tight. Let me see you here. Yeah, Dorado. They're so beautiful. So gorgeous. Nice. <laughs> Nessar jumped with his iPhone because he was so excited. But everything after the iPhone 7 is waterproof, so that's good. What do you think, Nessar? Was that epic? That was pretty epic to see the mahi in the water. I, I, another, uh, I don't know how you call it. I don't know learning curve. I had the shot over my right there on the wild, and I and I missed. Yeah. It never disappoints going fishing with Tyler. Chart. It's so heavy. Oh shit. What? Shark. We caught a shark. Goodbye, Shark. Shark. Oh, Sorry, Sharky. So we have had an epic day of fishing. We caught all kinds of strawberry grouper and a dorado, and it's just been incredible. Woo, what an epic day. We're seeing some fish, wiggling the boat a little bit. We tied up here to the sailboat. Ooh, all the fishing shit, all the fish! Boom, Chanka! What's up, guys? How was your day? Oh my god, epic day! We're the captain here, took us in a charter. <laughs> a shorter, a shorter of uh, yeah! Oh yeah! It was a super great day. Oh yeah! Thank you, Tyler. We're gonna have some Dorado tacos for dinner. Let's finish the day. Check out our website. Our blog has all our recipes on it, and there's a Dorado taco recipe. Dorado taco! Yeah! Dorado taco! Yeah! <laughs> There's always something to do on the boat. That's why I love it. So today, I wanted to tune up the machine since I'm gonna start it. So in the shops, I had left my machine for like four months and I have done a lot of jobs with that machine since I bought it. So we cannot tune it up. That's a good thing about Sailrite. They have everything in their website right there and all the part numbers and everything really is for that machine. So get back to it. Sailrite has this really awesome little guidebook that it comes with and it's got like all the information really that you need. One of the things we always look at is all the different lubrication points and then there's a great troubleshooting chapter and you can see right here some great diagrams. We have this exact thing happening so we're gonna get rid of those burrs right here because our piece is pretty messed up. Why did Twitch Autofocus get canceled? Why does it always get canceled? Just focus on my face. So all the parts kind of get gooky as well. You have to clean it since you use, when you're doing a lot of canvas work, you use a lot of uh, uh, basting tape, which is like a double-sided special tape for canvas. And it's kind of gooky and then it'll start pushing it through. So everything gets kind of dirty with it. So you have to clean it once in a while. And just in general, we live in the tropics. Everything on a rusty. boat, everything gets rusty. Part of living in paradise. Get this all tuned up so we can start sewing dingy chaps. So we're gonna clean all that out. I feel like a dentist! Look how cool this is. It's all dirty in there. That's where the bobbin sits and the bobbin case holder and all that. And it was kind of like rusty and all mushy. 
and look, it's like a dentist. Just clean, clean, clean. Looks really good. The walking foot, the bottom, you want it to be nice and clean because if not, it stains. It has some corrosion right here, as you can see right there on the edge. So I think we're gonna go to town. Now. I'm gonna get a little paint, paint, any color, I don't care. Just and then I'm gonna just tape it around it and touch it up. Yes, there's just painting this edge that was a little rusty here. He's got it all taped off, giving it a little barrier coat. Unfortunately, we don't have a hammered blue enamel, but I think this black will work just fine. So we're just here going over all the alignment on our sail right. The book has a really great step-by-step -step, um, process to check that everything is properly aligned and where it should be. Generally in these kinds of situations I read through step by step and Nestor does the steps. We just did the first step checking the needle bar height. They have it scribed on the needle bar and it is at the correct height. And now checking the rotational timing of the shuttle gib hook. That's basically what controls like the bobbin. And then the rotational positioning of the shuttle race guide shaft. It's good to do this before starting any big project. Make sure your machine is running the way it should be before you start so you don't have to stop in the middle of it or and damage troubleshoot your this machine. whole thing or damage the machine. Okay, so we just went through all all those little steps and everything looks like it's aligned and should be working properly. Um, I think we showed you earlier today, Nestor painted this little rusty area around here where the paint was flaking off. So I put a little bit, little tiny bit of uh, Lana coat. It should be good to go. The nice thing about Sailrite is that they have great troubleshooting in this book they have a great youtube channel definitely check that out if you're into sewing at all um, especially canvas and boat stuff super yeah, helpful and then they also have like amazing customer service so if you call them up with a problem going on with your machine you give them all the information and they will walk you through step by step what could possibly be going on with it and they're really really knowledgeable we love our sale right Buenos dias, Annabelle. Good morning. What's happening today? Today we are going to start our dinghy chaps. We have that brand new dinghy and we want to protect it. So before we start any other projects, Nestor was like, let's just make it a priority to get nice chaps made for it so that it doesn't get all messed up. And after the last time we went into the mangroves and couldn't really even tie in because we didn't want to mess the dinghy up at all. I think that's probably a good idea. Awesome. Dinghy chaps. So the other night we took the dinghy out and put it up on the bow of the boat. We didn't really film because it's been so windy. Um, you can't really hear anything, but uh, we took the engine off with our engine lift and we used one of the halyards to bring the, the dinghy up on board and we have it sitting out on the bow. And we'll go and show you that now. There we go. Dingy up on deck. I'm sure you can barely hear anything. It's our first time taking her out. And she fits perfectly up here on the bow. Nestor, show me how you can just totally walk around it. Yeah, it's pretty comfy. So it's going to be epic when we're sailing around, doing long passages. I want to design some, uh, some chucks to keep it up straight. Yeah, kind of like Delos has, right? The first step for our chaps was making a pattern. We used clear vinyl to be able to easily see and mark our seams and cutouts, using one side for port and the other for starboard to save on material. Total, we patterned nine panels. We then used these panels to cut our Sunbrellis canvas material and used a leather-like vinyl for reinforcements around all of our cutouts and handles. And we're just doing a little break from dinghy chaps to take care of this little project. So the screw mounts for our dinghy engine have always been ridiculously difficult 
for us to use. Um, and then Nestor painted the engine and they got even worse, obviously, because then um, the threads had paint on them. So we're just taking a minute here while we're on land and we have a really sturdy place to do it to heat and then clean and then grease these so that we can get the engine on and off the dinghy easily. Last time Nestor took it off, I would say it barely, barely came off. So you can see all of this stuff that's here on the drop cloth is coming off of those threads that Nestor heated up. It's getting definitely looser and looser. Yeah, it looks, I mean, that's amazing. Literally the other day we were using this wrench and we even had to at one point use this bad boy with the teeth and it was still like really hard for Nestor to get it off. I mean, partially because the dinghy's in the water and it's moving around, it's not a solid surface, but still, I mean, crazy. We always joked about the fact that like no one could steal our engine, even if they tried, but also it makes it impossible for us to be like traveling because our boat isn't really big enough that we can bring the dinghy up on deck with the engine on it so we have to take the engine off and in order to do that you've got to be able to do it in like an enjoyable manner so you can do it often because we want to travel to a lot of different places so it looks so much better already <laughs> So you can see Nestor's putting all the heat just on the end of that screw. Um, that way he's not messing up the paint on the engine with the heat and the heat will transfer through that entire screw. And you can see this one was much harder. This one was much harder. Messer's been here for probably about an hour messing with it. Yeah, I decided just to just do it. Greasing it up, getting it done. We've got very crappy lighting here, but Nestor is currently doing the hard one by hand. So that's really exciting. That's how we want them. That is how we want them. So some heat and some grease. A lot of elbow Lots grease. Lots of elbow grease on that, that one in particular. But it's happy now. 